So I am declaring this build complete. Uh, I guess I'll give uh, an overview, or more, I guess, a detailed overview of the guitar. Uh, we'll start with the uh, the main components. Um, oops, let me take off the uh, let me take off the strap because that'll just get in the way. Slide that strap off of there. All right. So this guitar has a uh, three-eighths inch by sixteen threaded uh, threaded rod going through the length of the guitar, to which is basically mounted everything. Uh, well, at least the neck, which is here. The neck, which is made out of uh, an extra bit of flooring that I had left over from uh, when I put flooring in my house two years ago. Uh, it's been shaped, it's been radius to a roughly 12 inch uh, ish radius. The frets are made out of uh, two and a half inch finishing nails that have been um, glued into place and then uh, uh, sanded, well, filed um, kind of sort of uniform and uh, the ends have obviously been clipped off and the ends have, the ends of the, uh, the frets have been shaped. The nut is where the ball ends of the strings go. Um, it's just a piece of uh, one inch by one inch um, aluminum angle stock. It has six holes drilled in it. Um, kind of sort of follows the shape of the neck, but not really, and it's kind of too high. But six holes drilled in it, um, in through which the strings are, are fed. The strings are attached to the ends of these quarter by 20 uh, threaded rods, and then they're sandwiched into place with, uh, with nuts. Um, that provides the anchored or the other end of the strings. Um, the rods ride in and out of the body on both ends with uh, uh, quarter inch uh, T nuts that have been reamed out. So they're smooth, they have no threading. Um, instead, there is a, a nut at the base of each uh, rod that. Um, it's tightened or loosened to uh, increase or decrease, decrease uh, tension on the strings. This piece of uh, copper is here to um, allow the strings to uh, come around the body without cutting through the, the wood uh, to provide tuning stability. The bridge is made out of another, uh, another quarter 20 um, threaded bolt and a nut on the end of it. It's just, uh, it's, it's only held in place right now with uh, string tension. If all the strings went loose, uh, the, the bridge would fall right out. Actually, for that matter, the uh, copper um, bit would fall right out too. There's, there's nothing holding it, holding it in. Um, that's basically it for the body. This uh, square piece of wood I had left over from when I tried to make uh, guitar wall hangers. Um, this is the base of it. Um, those hangers never really worked out. They look kind of ugly, but it gives me a good place for a good place to mount um, the uh, the controls. So we have an input jack made out of another quarter uh, twenty threaded um, T nut that has been reamed out again, uh, so it has no threads left. Um, that's, that obviously touches the sleeve of the cable. The tip of the cable is touched by uh, uh, a paper clip that's been bent appropriately and then anchored with a bolt. The potentiometer I'm pretty proud of because I just figured that out. Um, it's a piece of PVC, uh, a really short length of PVC pipe that's been, or it's really a PVC pipe coupler that's been cut down to approximately uh, three sixteenths of an inch long, well, thick, I guess. And then it's been hot glued into place on my control block. 
Um, on the top of the uh, of this PVC, I have basically a, just a ton of graphite that um, I, pe I penciled in um, really thick. On one end of the graphite track, I have the ground. That's uh, what the uh, wiper, which is made of another um, uh, paper clip, the wiper is currently shorted to right now. is shorted straight to ground. Um, the hot or uh, middle lug is this uh, screw right in the middle. Uh, that one's wired straight to hot uh, from uh, the output jack. On the other end of the uh, resistive track is a uh, another bolt, another screw, um, to which the uh, pickup is wired. Um, connected to the ground is another, this uh, uh, blue stripe wire. Uh, this one runs to the base of the uh, main threaded rod. That provides the uh, string grounding. The pickup is made out of two wall wart um, transformers. Um, uh, that have been wired together in series. Um, just just the just the primary coils of both have been wired together in series. The secondary coils are not used. The um, I guess the uh, uh, the irons of the um, transformers are kind of acting like pole pieces right now because I've got six uh, ceramic magnets uh, in a, a two by three stacked. Uh, configuration or one by three stack config configuration and that um, is providing the magnetic field for the pickups and the whole body of the pickup is made out of a uh, 22 magnum 50 round box um, a plastic box that I've chipped out um, uh, a relief for the strings and to provide clearance um, the transformers are basically just hot glued right into the uh, right into the box. So that's pretty much it, in a nutshell. Um, I'm actually really uh, really stoked that this thing is actually working. Um, the potentiometer I get roughly about a hundred kilo ohms out of, um, so it um, it's, and it's obviously linear taper, so it's a really subtle effect. Um, but it does work, so... And I can go from here, even like in this position, it's it, there's still a little bit of resistance. I can basically just just go full open if I touch the uh, touch the wiper directly to the terminal. Um, you can hear the buzzing, hopefully, and if I just touch the ground, the buzzing will go away. Oops. Touch the ground, or if I just touch the strings, the buzzing goes away. So that shows that the string grounding is working. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see, you can probably see that the, uh, the action is like a mile high on this thing and um, that is due to um, both the nut, uh, those holes were drilled before I actually attached the nut to the, uh, uh, to the fretboard or to the neck, so I didn't really have a good idea of how high I should have made those, I probably should have made those a little bit lower, and the other, the other part of the equation is the uh, bridge, which could probably do with some shaping, um, but for now this works decently well. So yeah, I'm, oh, and there's a strap button here, uh, which is just a screw. I'm seriously considering adding an extension to go out like this um, to provide better balance when using a strap, but all in all, I am really quite pleased that this thing is, is pretty much done and it's working and it's it works 
as expected. That's just so cool. So very cool. Alrighty.